Hello, welcome to lesson 5 Escape Sequences and Verbatim Literal in C Sharp brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll learn escape sequences and verbatim literals. Right now, we'll move into escape sequences. In C Sharp, escape sequences refer to a combination of characters beginning with a bash slash followed by letters or digits. To understand this, we'll jump straight into coding. Right now, I'll open Visual Studio and I've created a project called Escape Sequence and Verbatim. Here is the console application. In the last session, we, we learned built-in types. There, we saw a string data type. Now, we'll create a string variable. I've taken the string data type and the variable is a. I'm storing a value called Anchor Technologies. And I want to print this in the console window, so I'm using console class. And I'm using the right line function to print it on the console. I'm passing the variable a to it. And I'll run the program by pressing control F5. And the output is as expected. But what is escape sequence? Now, in this program, I want Anchor Technologies to be printed with the double quotes. I want this entire thing to be on the console window. So, in order to do that, there comes and exist there come into existence escape sequences. If I want to print Anchor Technologies with the double quotes, I, if I want to print the entire thing on the console window, I'll use the escape sequences. Right now, we'll jump into msdn.microsoft.com. There, I'll type escape sequences in C Sharp. and here I'll find the MSDN site for the escape sequences and these are the ex escape sequences in C sharp slash a this is the bell alert and this is for backspace this is for new line carriage return horizontal tab vertical tab for backslash but I want in my program double quotation mark to be printed so I'll use this escape sequence I'll come back to Visual Studio And here, I'll do this. And now, when I run this application, the output what I got is as expected: Anchor Technologies with a double code printed. Okay. Now I'll close this window. I'll jump back into presentation again. Escape sequence represent non-printable, non-printable, and escape characters in the character and literal strings. It means that the program we printed this backslash with the single double quotes and again your backslash with double quotes but these characters these these characters are called non-printable characters. Escape sequences are called non-printable characters. Whatever we write in the code, these lines, these characters are not printed in the console window. It means that escape sequences represent non-printable and special characters in the character and literal things. And as we saw in the MSTN site, these are the this is the list of uh, defined C# -sharp escape sequences. Okay. Now we'll move back to MSDN site. Here there is a backslash. It means that I'll jump back to Visual Studio. Here I'll erase this thing. If I want to print like this. Stop slash C sharp slash Hank Pro. It throws us an unre unrecognized escape sequence. Now, if I try to run this program, it will throw me an error. So, what I have to do if I want to print this in the console window, I have to use a backslash escape sequence. Now I'll run the program and the output is as expected. This is how the escape sequence come into a picture. Now we'll move into presentation back and verbatim literals. 
Verb time literal is a string starting with add symbol. For example, at and pro. Basically, the add symbol tells the string constructor to ignore the escape characters and the line breaks. What do you mean by this? It means that, we'll jump back into the presentation. Here, for the reader, it does not make a sense. What uh, we are using double backslash, it does not make a sense. So, using verbal time literal, we can make this more readable. How? I'll remove this backslash and I'll remain it with a single thing and I'll at the starting I'll add with at now when I run this program the output what I got is exactly the previous one but here what I'm using I'm using the verbatim literal means verbatim literal is it always here the string always start with the at symbol whatever the work done by the escape sequences here it can be done using the verbatim literal by just using at at the beginning of the string Basically, the add symbol tells the string constructor to ignore this escape characters and the line breaks. For example, string s ang pro technologies, string s, string 1 s is equal to ang pro slash escape sequence new line technologies. This statement prints technologies in the new line. And if you use the verb time literal string 1 s at before the string ang pro slash escape sequence and technologies, but here the verb time literal it ignores the escape characters that is it ignores the new line character and it prints in and it prints the entire line in the same line entire statement in the same line the entire value in the same line here I'll come back into visual studio I'll just give you a demo of that string string 1 s equals string s1 is equal to Hank Pro Hank Pro Technologies and end with semicolon and I'd like to print this sentence console dot right line function and output of s1 I would like to call the variable s1 yes, and I would like to end it with the line terminator and I would like to copy this entire thing control B and I'll just rename the variable but here I'll, I'll, show, I'll use the power of verb time literal and I'll change the name of the variable here also now we'll see the output now I'll run the program by pressing control F5 the output of S1 and Pro Technologies the output of S2 Ang Pro output of S2 is Ang Pro escape sequence new line technologies here use in the second out in the second string S2 what we are done is we are used the verb time literal means here we are used here we are used at symbol means where we are using the verb time literal and what we are doing we are passing Ang Pro technologies backslash n and technology technologies it means that if you use the verb time literal it ignores the escape characters and literals and line break sorry that is the power of verb time literal thank you please subscribe to Ang Pro technologies below